Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to clone your windows from a mechanical hard drive or SSD to an M.2 SSD for free. This approach can be used to copy either only your operating system or your entire disk, which includes your operating system applications, file settings, and anything else on your hard drive to the M.2 SSD. You can also choose to copy only certain partitions of your disk to the M.2 SSD. Now here are some of the scenarios where you would possibly need this technique. First is of course when you want to change from a mechanical hard drive to an M.2 SSD storage. Second is when you want to combine a mechanical hard drive with an M.2 SSD, normally using the SSD for Windows and applications and then the mechanical hard drive for storage. Third is when you want to upgrade from a smaller to a larger M.2 SSD, especially if your laptop only has the M.2 socket for storage and you are running out of disk space. Just as we've seen with everything computing and electronics in general, the trend is constantly moving towards miniaturization of components, hence smaller form factor for computers and gadgets. And as far as storage goes, the next phase we'll be seeing will be a wider adoption of the M.2 SSD storage. Some manufacturers are already making for smoother transitioning by combining the traditional SATA connector with the M.2 connector on the same board, while others are already replacing the SATA connector with an M.2 connector completely. So in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to perform such upgrade or storage combination in a reliable way for free. It's quite easy to do and requires almost no technical skills. But before we proceed, if you are yet to subscribe, do take a moment to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first here are the components we'll need for this process. An M.2 to SATA adapter like this. There are different forms of this adapter. The third one here has a 2.5 inch enclosure. With that, you are able to fully adapt the M.2 into the same compartment as traditional hard drives. Then you need a screwdriver for opening your hard disk bay or laptop back cover, depending on the kind of laptop you have. Next, you need a USB to SATA adapter cable like this. Now you could also get a USB to M.2 adapter like this to replace the two initial adapters. However, this adapter allows you to connect only through the USB port, while using the other two allows you to connect both through the USB and directly to a SATA interface. And of course, your M.2 SSD. The size will depend on the space between your M.2 socket and the mounting post provided on your motherboard. So it could be a full height or a half height M.2 SSD. I will leave links to all these components down in the video description. But before you go ahead to order any of the components, first check to see what you already have on your computer. Different laptop models provide you different kinds of connection interfaces. And for some laptops, you won't even need any of these adapters, while for others, you might need one or two. For instance, this EliteBook 820 comes with two M.2 sockets. One has the broadband card plug to it, and the other is designed to hold a flash cache memory. However, both interfaces are able to support M.2 SSDs. The obvious bottleneck here is that the space between each of these sockets and the mounting posts are only long enough for the half-height M.2 SSDs. Now, this does not mean that they can't be used for cloning the full-height M.2 SSD. If all you want to do is to clone from your mechanical hard drive to an M.2 SSD, then you can attach the SSD to the connector. Use a little stripe of masking tape to hold it onto the frames. Carefully place the laptop between two books or similar objects and proceed with the cloning process. Now, if however you want to combine the M.2 SSD with a mechanical hard drive in this scenario, then it's best to use the half-height M.2 SSD. Now, this is not yet very common, but they are fast becoming more common as their storage capacities are getting higher, with both the 120GB and 240GB variants becoming more available. So here with this setting, I will be able to move my windows from this mechanical hard drive to the M.2 SSD and keep the mechanical hard drive for storage. But before we do that, let's take a look at some other possible scenarios. The second scenario is the case with this Acer Aspire 3. Now this is a more recent design. Here they provide full capability for combining mechanical hard drive with a full height 80mm long M.2 SSD. This is kind of the most ideal scenario for combining mechanical hard drive with an M.2 SSD. Here you don't need any adapters and you will have a wider range of SSDs to choose from. This model also supports the NVMe technology, which is about 5 times faster than normal SSDs that are based on SATA 3 technology. So if you use an M.2 SSD which supports NVMe on a laptop like this, then you can expect some really, really amazing performance. 
The third scenario is the case with this HP 250G5. This model comes with only the M.2 interface. So if you want to clone from a smaller 64 gig or 128 gig M.2 to a larger 240 gig or 500 gig M.2, then you will need either a USB to M.2 adapter or both the M.2 to SATA and USB to SATA adapters. Here we need to attach the new M.2 SSD to this adapter. Then connect the adapter to a USB SATA adapter cable and then connect to the laptop. Now with any of these three scenarios, the next step would be to download an OS migration tool. There are several of them online, but for this tutorial, I'll be using the mini tool partition wizard. It's quite reliable and easy to use and it's also free. So download, open your browser and search mini tool partition wizard free. Click on the first link from partitionwizard.com. I'll also add the link down in the video description. On this page, click on download and wait for the download to complete. After downloading, run the installation by double clicking. Hit yes on the user account control. Yes, select your preferred language and hit OK. Accept the license terms and hit next. 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 You can choose whether or not to create a desktop shortcut. Hit next. Next. And install. Here hit finish to complete the process. Now before the next step, ensure your M.2 SSD is already connected to your laptop, especially if you are using the USB SATA adapter cable or any other connectors you have. On this page, you want to choose the operation that is suitable for your need. The first option, which is Migrate OS, obviously migrates only your operating system to the M.2 SSD. The second option, which is Disk Clone, offers you a total migration of everything on your disk to the M.2 SSD, including your operating system, applications, files, settings, and so on. I had previously made a video on this particular process using an earlier version of the Minitool Partition Wizard. If that is what you want to do, then you can just click on this option and then follow the instructions in that video to complete the process. The third option is of course copying particular partitions to the M.2 SSD. I will make a separate video about this later. Now from this previous video, I got a lot of questions about this first process which is migrating only your operating system to the M.2 SSD or normal SSD and keeping your files on the hard disk. So that is the operation we'll be performing in this tutorial. So here choose the migrate OS option. It then brings you to a page like this asking how you want to migrate your OS. The first option here would be ideal if you want to completely replace your system disk with the M.2 SSD but that's not what I want to do here. So instead I want to move my operating system to the M.2 SSD and still keep the original hard disk in the computer for storage. So I will choose this second option and hit next. On this next page it asks you to select the destination disk. This will be my new M.2 SSD which is disk 2. Then hit next. It then reminds you that all the data on the destination disk will be destroyed. Are you sure you want to continue? Here double check that you have selected the right disk before hitting yes. On this page, it shows a summary of your selections. By default, fit partition to entire disk is selected and disk 2 is the target disk, which is my new M.2 SSD. If that's right for you, leave the other options as default and hit next. It then informs you to configure your BIOS to boot from the destination disk when next you boot up. I will explain this a bit later. Just click finish. Then it returns you to this main page where you will now click on apply at the top right corner to begin the migration process. Here a note pops up recommending that I close all applications before applying the changes. So close down your applications and hit OK to start the migration process. If you get past this stage, then just wait for the migration process to run as supposed. However, oftentimes you will get this notice saying operation copy partition cannot be completed because drive C is being used now. 
It's okay to get this notice, mainly because some background processes running on your laptop makes your C drive appear too busy for the process. So it offers you three options. You either restart, retry, or cancel the process. Here, I'll choose restart now and then wait for the partition wizard to automatically perform the migration process upon restarting. This process will take a while depending on how large your system files are and also the performance of your laptop. With higher performance laptop in terms of your processor and RAM, this process could be a lot faster. But in any case, just be patient and wait for the migration process to complete. Here I should mention that the OS migration process doesn't delete your original system files from the mechanical hard disk or your source disk. It only makes a copy of your system files to the destination disk, which in this case is the new M.2 SSD. So you will still be able to run only on your old disk if you choose to. Okay, so the migration process is now complete. Now if we go back to the M.2 SSD from the computer folder, you will see that it now has similar files and folders as the mechanical hard drive. Now if for some reason your SSD doesn't show up here, then you will need to add it from the disk management settings. To do that, go to your Windows search and type create and format hard disk partitions. Then click on the corresponding result. On this disk management page, you will see a disk that the size corresponds with the size of your SSD that has no drive later. Right click on it and select change drive later and parts. Here click on add. Then just leave the default later and hit OK. After a moment, you should have your SSD showing in the computer folder. The files you see here are the system files for your Windows operating system. And then the final step now would be to configure the BIOS to boot from the M.2 SSD instead of the mechanical hard drive when next you boot up. This process will differ depending on your PC model and the way your BIOS settings page is organized. The idea here is to change your boot priority order to start booting from the M.2 SSD instead of the mechanical hard drive. So here from my BIOS, under advanced settings, I will go down to where it says legacy boot order. Here, I will move my M.2 SSD to the top of the boot priority order. Then, save and exit. With that, when next I boot up this laptop, it will boot straight from the SSD instead of the mechanical hard drive. I'll be making a separate tutorial to show how to set up your apps so as to run from the SSD and then use the mechanical hard drive for storage. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.